Zero in your rifles and get ready to mark some targets because Gunfire Games just revealed the final starting archetype for their upcoming Souls-like shooter, Remnant 2. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today we're breaking down The Hunter. For those that didn't know, Legacy Gaming is giving away three copies of Remnant 2 Ultimate Edition. For all the details, go to our website, legacygaming.gg news for your chance to win. For those of you that played Remnant from the Ashes, the Hunter will be immediately recognizable. We've known of its existence for a while now, ever since it was teased in trailers and talked about in various articles. But today, we finally have all the gameplay details. As always, this might be your first time hearing about archetypes or even Remnant 2, so let's clarify something. All five potential starting archetypes, that is the Medic, Challenger, Handler, Hunter, and Gunslinger can be unlocked just by playing the game and finding that archetype item. We go into much more details on archetypes in our Remnant 2 Ultimate Preview video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't done so already. The Hunter archetype is activated by slotting the Sniper War Medal item, and it's the ideal class to pick if you're the type of player that likes to mark targets, land critical weak spot damage, and remain a bit further back from the action. This archetype enables any weapon to achieve its maximum range potential, making it a perfect choice to pair with both support and DPS-based archetypes. In terms of initial weapons, the Hunter will have access to the Huntmaster M1 Hunting Rifle, the trusty Repeater Pistol, and the classic Steel Sword. And the kit makes sense, considering what the Hunter brings to the table. Don't forget, even if you don't choose this archetype from the start, Brabus will have all of these weapons, as well as all the other starting archetype weapons, for sale immediately close to the start of the game. The unique archetype trait Longshot increases weapon ideal range by up to 6 meters. This applies to both your handguns and long guns, everything from your basic pistols to that beefy LMG you're rocking. Not only does this cement the Hunter as the master of long-range DPS, but once the archetype reaches the max level, Longshot becomes available in the general trait pool, allowing any other archetype to take advantage of this seriously potent trait. With this trait in mind, it's no surprise all of the Hunter's perks enhance the archetype's ability to deal lethal damage. Deadeye, your damage perk, increases your overall ranged and weak spot damage. Return to Sender, your team perk, enables kills due to weak spot and critical hits to increase their potential ammo drop by 25%, keeping you and your team from running dry. Urgency, your utility perk, increases your reload speed after a kill, ensuring your mag is always full and ready to go. Finally, Intuition, your relic perk, extends the duration of any active hunter skill whenever you use a relic, but don't use too many back-to-back -back as the effect degrades with each subsequent use. The class's prime perk, Dead to Rights, extends the duration of your active hunter skills whenever you deal at least 65 based ranged weak spot damage to a target, allowing your hunter skills to extend far beyond their initial duration. In terms of skills, the first one is an iconic mod from Remnant 1 turned into an ability. Hunter's Mark increases the hunter's awareness, casting an aura that automatically applies Mark to all enemies within a 35 meter radius. This grants you 15% increased ranged and melee damage for the duration, but also grants a 15% increase to crit chance for all allies against Mark targets. The second archetype skill, Hunter's Focus, allows the hunter to mark targets just by briefly aiming at them. Continuing to aim down the sights at the target without firing will put the hunter into a focused state, reducing weapon spread, recoil, and sway by a massive amount, while boosting ranged and ranged weak spot damage, as well as your ranged crit chance. Finally, there's Hunter's Shroud, which reduces enemies' awareness and makes you harder to hit while moving. Attacking or activating a mod or skill will instantly exit Shroud, but performing no offensive action for a short period of time will reapply the Shrouded effect. When exiting Shroud, you'll mark all enemies within a short distance and are granted Ambush, increasing ranged and melee damage by 50%. Your attacks will also apply Mark. When all is said and done, it's safe to assume the Hunter will be a favorite for many players and groups that are looking to keep track of enemies in the environment, and given the increased detail in Remnant 2, this may be more necessary than you think. The perks and skills make the Hunter a perfect sub-archetype to pair with any DPS or support prime archetype, and if you're one who wants to get the most out of your Hunter skills, it may just be the perfect prime archetype. Keep in mind, even though we've taken a look at the five starting archetypes in Remnant 2, there are still additional ones to find hidden throughout the various worlds, and that might just change your plans entirely. Friends, Remnant 2 is right around the corner and it's shaping up to be an incredible experience. Again, 
If you've yet to watch our Remnant 2 Ultimate Preview video, please do so. It goes over every single thing known about the game with this and our Remnant Archetype videos supplementing all of the new information we've learned along the way. These will give you a fantastic foundation going into the game's release on July 25th. If Remnant 2 is even remotely on your radar and you want more videos like guides, builds, boss breakdowns, and more in your feed, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. It goes a long way to allowing us to keep providing you the quality content you've come to expect from the channel. I also want to invite you to the Legacy Gaming community on Discord. It's a fantastic place to hang out, party up for all things Remnant, and meet a ton of cool people, as well as win free prizes. So check out the link below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.